Good morning class, especially to our dear students. Welcome to Tools TV and this is our world of numbers. Today we will discuss about Pythagoras theorem and we will solve some mathematical problems utilizing the concepts of Pythagoras theorem. And the important one is how to apply Pythagoras theorem in our daily living. So now, let me proceed. Pythagoras theorem connects all right triangle. When we say right triangle, it is a triangle that has a 90 degrees in it. Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the side of the hypotenuse or the side of the right triangle, which is the longest one, is always the sum of the square of the other two sides. So let's take for example, in this triangle, there is a 90 degree in here, which is the hypotenuse is always the opposite of the 90 degree angle. Let it be the C and the other two sides, which are A and B. So generally, Pythagoras theorem is represented in this equation. As what I have said, the square of the hypotenuse or the C is always equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides which are A and B. So let's take for example, we'll uh, solve for a certain problem. Let us prove if a certain triangle is a right triangle. A triangle that is made of sides C as 5, B as 4, and A as 3. So, utilizing the equation C square is equal to A square plus B square, let's find out if this one is really a right triangle. So, by substitution, C square is equal to A square plus B square. So 5 squared is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. So the square of 5, which is 25, is it, is it the same with square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16. So is 25 is equal to the sum of 9 and 16, which will give us 25. So we just have proved that a certain triangle is a right triangle. Now, what if a certain problem is looking for the uh, side of a right triangle? So let's take for example, we have A as 8, B as 6, then we have to find the C or the hypotenuse. So by substitution, C square is equal to A square plus B square, provided that it is a right triangle. So to find C, we have 8 square plus 6 square. So it became square of 8 is 64 and the square of 6 is 36 so we have the sum of 64 and 36 we have 100 so it is very clear that C or the hypotenuse or the longest side of the right triangle is we were able to find the side of a right triangle. So what if a hypotenuse is given and one of the shorter side have to be fine? So just use the formula and substitute, then we can find the length of the missing side of the triangle. Let's take for example, uh, given in this uh, this problem 
c square is equal to a square plus b square. So by substitution, we have we know that c is ten, c is ten, and a is eight. Then we'll find b. So what is b? Equal to eight square plus b square. So we have one hundred is equal to square of 8 is 64 plus the unknown B. So now, we just have this defined Pythagorean theorem and we were able to show some mathematical problems. The next one and the important thing is to apply Pythagoras theorem in our daily living. So let's, let's say that we have a certain wall. So let's take for example, we have a problem. There is a 12 meter high wall and we have a 16 meter in length ladder. The question is how far away from the wall do we need to place the base of the ladder in order to satisfy the right triangle or Pythagoras theorem. So by using the formula so sub by substitution we have 16 square is equal to let's a b 12 plus b which is unknown here is 256 and 12 is square is 144 that would be the difference of 256 and 144 is equal to the square of B, 112. So the square root of 112 using a calculator, we can B now is equal to 10.6 10 meters. So, for the past minutes, we were able to discuss about Pythagoras theorem, solve some mathematical problems, and apply it in our daily living. Hope you guys enjoy our lecture. And if you have questions, just leave your comment down below or suggest any subjects that will subjects that we are going to discuss in our next video.